Howdy folks, this is Travis of LSD Equine Solutions, uh, partnered with the Coffee Cow Company. And today what we're going to cover, I know it's a strange topic, but we're going to cover boots. And you're like, boots? I'm like, absolutely. So I'm going to tell you about a story about, uh, it was probably about six years old. I was on the family uh, farm slash ranch because I did cattle and they did farming too. And I remember my grandpa, my grandma, and myself, my brother were going down the ranch truck and uh, checking up on the cattle. I remember going driving past the fence line and I seen uh, one cowboy boot sitting on top of wooden post. And I said, what's that? Grandpa, and he goes, well, well, that old one-legged cowboy sure didn't need two pairs of boots. He just needed one, so he left that on the post. Of course, he was just trying to be funny and so forth. And uh, the more I've gone out west, and the more you go out west, you'll see a whole bunch of cowboy boots on top of uh, different fence posts, a whole collection of them. And it stands for a lot of reasons of why. And I'm going to get into that here shortly. But first, I'm going to switch over to another set of boots. So... These are army boots. These are the modern, uh, I guess they're not modern now, semi-modern uh, combat boots. And the reason I bring these up is because uh, I did do a stint in the army and so forth. And when uh, people got out of the military and were getting close to the date they were getting out, they are called short timers. Because they are very short on the calendar for days left in the military. And it was common for uh, people getting out, they take these boots do a knot in the center and they wind these puppies up and they would pitch them up over top of a strand of power lines or telephone lines and so forth. And the reason they did that is because they didn't need them no more. Their time being the military was done and it came to conclusion so they didn't need their boots no more. So that was the first part. Second part is it gave awareness to everybody. That your body was gone every time you looked up there until somebody take took them off the power line. And I'll publish some pictures on that here uh, on this video. So going back to cowboy boots. So originally what people thought is uh, people, cowboy boots got wore out and so forth. So they put them on top of wood posts. I know this one's metal, but they put them on top of metal posts. And that would keep the wood post rotting on top as fast, all right, collecting water. Then it became a social form of, uh, you know, people going down the road. Back in the early days, they have a lot of socks. They had holes in their socks. Their boots would get wore out. They'd stop at a fence line. Might be a pair of boots, and they'd take them off, switch them out on their feet. They're better. Put them back on the post and get going. So it was kind of a rural uh, responsibility being helpful for your neighbor. You know, for somebody coming down the road, that road that was uh, in need of a pair of boots, okay, that wore out. So that's one reason some people put cowboy boots up on a fence post. Another reason is uh, it was a sign. So if I had a cowboy boot post and point away from the, the ranch house, that's not the ranch house behind me, that's the bunkhouse, but that meant that I was out. If it was turned in, it meant I was in, kind of like a flag on a, a mailbox. Uh, so that was one thing that a lot of people and then it evolved into something a little bit more So some people decided hey if my favorite horse passed away golly bill I'm gonna put a cowboy boot on a wood post and represent my steed that that I rode chase cattle my cow pony my good one For many many moons. Okay, so that might boot might represent that or More importantly it might represent a cow hand that might have worked on the outfit all right, so this is a different cowboy boot here versus that one. I know our uh, Clark and Montea used to be here, so these kind of represent uh, them two cowboys and ranchers and so forth, and that's kind of honor them. So the biggest thing, though, is respect. It was put up there out of respect, and uh, it's not kind if you come from the rural community, or sorry, uh, different rural parts or the, the urban communities and just, Grab a cowboy boot and take off with it, okay? It's not your property. It's property put there on the fence line as uh, decor, a way to respect, a way to honor, you know, past uh, cowboys they either passed away or they just decided not to work at an outfit and anyway, how they were gone. 
So that's the whole story behind Boots. And I'll put some pictures on the, the website about Boots. I had somebody ask me about that the other day. I said, hey, you know what? I should do a video on that. And uh, so that's kind of what I did here. This would represent. Now this is a steel post. It does have a hole. has a hole on top of it. So I put a cow boot on top of it. Just so water wouldn't get down there and kind of show you what you see out west. I don't care if you're in Montana, uh, the Dakotas, all the way down south, Arizona. You, you'll see cowboy boots up here, not so common out east. When I was out there, I did see so many boots. Uh, but out west, you'll definitely see that in the countryside. So I hope this helps you out. You've gained the knowledge, which means you have the power. So take care. Sign off. Adios. <music>